Hey everyone, today I want to talk about cubing items to earn mesos in Rake server. I usually have a bunch of green hard cubes and purple solid cubes after bossing for about a week. They have a week long expiration date so I like to let them pile up in my storage until I really need to use them. Now there's two major ways you can make mesos from these cubes. The first way that I prefer is by making gear. Now, personally, I like cubing accessories to the legendary tier, like this pendant here, and I look for percent drop or percent meso. Those lines by themselves will fetch you a few billion in the auction house, at least in Barra, which is where I'm at. You don't need to star force it, you don't need to scroll it, just the meso obtained or the drop rate line by themselves on the main potential will fetch you a few billion and that's great. People like the meso percent for uh, making their grinding more profitable. People like drop percent for getting more loot from bosses and also getting extra like nodes or something from training. So very beneficial lines and people buy them up. Uh, you could also use the gear for yourself if you want to get more meso gear and drop gear of course. Uh, and you can get meso and drop percent lines on rings pendants, earrings, and face and eye accessories here on the main potential. So uh, that is uh, one major thing you can do here, uh, kind of related to making gear, uh, which I don't prefer doing this route, but it is a route you could take, is you can cube items like secondary weapons to unique or legendary and get some good lines like attack percent and boss percent. Uh, sometimes those sell quite well in the auction house for popular classes, like Kali right now is a new class, so that would be one that I would look at, or other popular classes. Uh, armor pieces are also made more valuable if they have a unique potential with at least two lines of a beneficial stat, like you cube a shoulder to have uh, on my Kali here, two lines of luck on unique potential, then that sells for quite a bit more than just a clean piece of armor. Uh, so there are those gear making options, but again, I do prefer making uh, meso or drop gear on accessory items. Now the second way, which is completely different from cubing your own gear, is to cube someone else's gear. And this is called cube service. This is where someone trades you an item that they want to tier up to unique or legendary typically. And, or they'll give you an item to just roll good potential lines to use your cubes on their item. Uh, in Barra, people have been buying green hard cubes for anywhere from 5 to 6 mil, sometimes 7 mil each, and purple solid cubes usually are 50 to 60 mil each. Uh, sometimes I've seen megaphones for 70 mil each. Uh, now that all adds up, that's, that's quite a bit. Uh, at 50 mil each, 20 solid cubes is a bill, just like that. So. Uh, it's a lot easier to find people to sell your cubes to if you're in an active guild or alliance or you have, you know, a buddy list that's growing quite big, uh, or you have megaphone items and you can advertise in the global chat, which I conveniently always have off to the side. Uh, so uh, sometimes finding cube buyers just isn't possible, whether or not you just have the connections or have a megaphone or not to advertise you're selling them. Uh, so that's when you can just use your cubes to create gear like I mentioned previously with the drop and meso gear. Uh, some people will ask for like a screen share via discord while you're cubing just to make sure that uh, you know they trust that you're not scamming them or something like you say you're gonna use solid cubes on an item but you just use like hard cubes on an item. So uh, sometimes people just want that extra security and that's chill. So uh, that's cubing other people's gear for them, cube service. Uh, I, again, prefer making gear uh, with meso and drop rate on accessories, but uh, you can do whatever you want with your cubes, uh, and that is how you make money off of cubes. Uh, so hopefully this helps you earn a little bit of extra mesos or helps you to uh, shine some light on making some gear of your own here and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching and take care everybody.